ladies and gentlemen, please you know, put your hands together for the irreplaceable John Watson. I thought the uh, ovation I got at Crystal Palace was good, but <laughs> you've cracked it. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to say one thing about this award tonight, because obviously it's an anniversary for me, as John kindly said, 50 years at the BBC. But I don't know how many of you have appreciated it. It's also a celebration for British television. Because the year I first walked through the doors of Broadcasting House, 1968, was the year that Colour TV came to this country. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and just in case you don't think I've had my facts right, the first FA Cup final in colour was the following year, 1969. Anyway, there we are, or maybe even 68, I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> so therefore, I was excused for saying those watching in black and white are Spurs in the yellow shirts because, you know, colour TV had only been in two years, but it didn't get any better. As I carried on, the gaffes kept coming. It's Arsenal nil, Liverpool two. The longer it stays like that, the more you've got to fancy Liverpool to win. <laughs> then they sent me to the World Cup and I called it a truly international event. <laughs> and then I commentated on the most iconic team in the world and I said, these Brazilians are so good, they're running around the pitch playing with themselves. <laughs> so I'm dedicating this to the BBC Sports Department where I've worked for, as you said, 50 years and been so grateful to have so much professional support behind me. And to BAFTA, thank you ever so much. I never saw this coming. <laughs>